Sugar Box Ride. The Southern Sugar TV presents Miss Ruby, 89 Sugar Caprice LS, coming out the muddy Mississippi. Oh, you done did it now. The streets done woke up a sleeping giant, and this is about to go down, baby. I'm talking about the car so clean. Sugar Box Ride got it shining like a brand new diamond, baby. With a six liter engine when you crank her up, you can hear it from a block away. I told y'all y'all wouldn't hear it. And don't get it twisted. We keeping it old school, baby. With 22 inch dating wild wheels. With the full tires, man. Cause if your paint ain't shine and your rims don't bling, you ain't clean. And that's for real, man. Cause we taking this thing to a whole nother level. So get ready. This ad was brought to you by Southern Chevy TV. Home. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Chevy Box Rider here, Southern Chevy TV. And your boy got a special little mail call in the mail. So I was having a little issue with Ruby and I decided to upgrade my fans, my electric fans. My electric fans was cooling, but as it started getting hotter and hotter, I was like, man, these fans can't keep up. So I said, let me upgrade. So with me being decided to upgrade, I went to these. Yep. You see it, the, the Raleigh Performance How put electric uh, fans with the Shroud. Man, these fans right here put out a whopping 4,300 CFL. Man, factory cars ain't even putting out that much factory fan shrouds. So I went on ahead and got these and I wanna say I paid like two, two eighty or 270, I can't really remember. And and yeah, man, I went in, I went on ahead and picked these up. So we're going to do an unboxing on that. And so I went to the speed shop to go and get me some, uh, some new little relays. I wasn't liking the relays that I had. Well, not the relays itself, but the wiring. So I went on ahead and picked some up. And the crazy thing about picking them up, I come back and it's a whole nother set on the, on the porch. I don't know where they came from. A whole nother set. And I didn't order them. But we not going to ask no questions. So I had to double back. Go back and get some more. So just so I could have these for that for that set there. So, um, or I might use these to use my other 12-inch fans as a pusher on the condenser. Who knows? But then I started thinking. I said, well, I need to go ahead and... Um, redo some wiring up under the car. So I went on ahead and recut my wiring for the box channel. So these are the wires that went down, you know, to the starter. And man, and the reason why I went on ahead and redid this is because look at that, butt connector, butt connector, butt connectors everywhere. Oh yeah, I told y'all, look at that. So I told y'all, I was gonna show y'all the good, the bad, the ugly. So, you know, I had this on there like that. And yes, I'm the one that did that. And the only reason why I did that was to hurry up and get it, get, get it in Ruby and get it running. So with that being said, it's time to redo all that, all that junk. We don't need that. So what I did was, when it got me some more 10 gauge wire, and what I did with this wire is, see two in the one ring terminal, the little smaller ring terminal, and and then two spliced it for the alternator. I know the camera jumped around. Give me one second. It's kind of tangled up. And then I even got the one for the alternator. And with that being said, I'm gonna run that just like how that's how that is from one side over to the other. But I'm go also gonna put it in braided loom. It's time to upgrade, man. You gotta step your game up. You gotta make stuff look way more nice and presentable. And I tell you, I get tired of this right here. This rubber kind, all that cracking and things like that. I can't stand that. So we're going to the steel braided. I mean, not steel braided, but the nylon braided. And I even got a thicker roll. So yeah, I got, got a good little bit to do what I'm about to do. So, with that being said, without further ado, I know y'all guys are ready to get to this um, unboxing. So, let's get this unboxing started. So, let's get this unboxing started. So, first impressions, 
Let's see now. The one I have is the 16927. Which, where is that on here? 16927, right here. Uh, 26 inch by 18, two and three quarters, overall four inch. So, show you unboxing. Package is okay, not too bad. Hmm. Nice size. Nice size fan shroud. Kind of deep too. Oh yeah, feels nice and hefty. Got some weight to it. It definitely has some weight to it. And it comes with um, your mounting hardware. I don't know if it actually came with the um, relays. I don't feel no relays. Yeah, I don't feel any relays in here. But that might be what this is. I'm not sure, but I don't think that is. I don't think that's it. But it does come with the mountain hardware. Look where else in the box. Oh, Summit receipt. Um, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing no relays. And then on the picture, it did show that it came with relays, but it's not no biggie. Cause I already have relays on in my car already so let me unbox it well not unbox it but take the wrapper off get right. these two we back now it does come look like it's powder coated yeah it's powder coated with the aluminum look now these are breather flaps right here so for uh, extra breathing and um these fan these motors look mighty hefty mighty hefty so I'm liking it overall, you know, first looks at it. Um, now, if you did decide to buy the, uh, it has its own operating controller. I know you can pull this up and you can mount that control box there, which let me show you underneath. You just have to punch that out and you can put the controller there, but I'm not running that. I'm running mine off the computer, so. Man, you know what I'm ready to do? Let's hook a battery up to see how hard these things blow. So give me a right, YouTube. Before I show you how the new fans, how hard they're blowing, I wanted to show you the old ones. Again, there go my shroud. I took the shroud off um, a little while ago. I was testing something. So these are the fans currently. Two 12-inch fans. And they blow pretty good. I'm not going to lie. They blow pretty good. So, I mean, you see, they blow decent. Yeah, I think they blow pretty decent. So now, give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and show you that. All right, YouTube. So these are the Raleigh fans. You can see it blow pretty good, and the wind ain't even blowing out. That's all from the fans. Clean up the wiring and you're good to go. So I'll come at come at the end once I have everything cleaned up the way I want it, so y'all can really get a good overview look of up under the hood. Chevy TV. Chevy TV.